Eric, and this is Kara. Maybe unexpected that Spieth could do this to Augusta for so long when no one had ever done it before. What was expected was some house cleaning in Toronto. Yeah, I mean, after their worst season in almost 20 years, Brendan Shanahan setting a tone early, leading us to believe there are going to be more moves coming and there are going to be big moves coming. Let's see where he started. The Maple Leafs fired general manager Dave Nonis and interim head coach Peter Horacek, as well as Horacek's entire coaching staff. The announcement comes a day after Toronto finished the season with 68 points, its fewest in an 82-game season since 1996-97. The Leafs were in a playoff position when they fired Randy Carlisle, who remembers back that far. Mm -hmm. On January 6th, but went 9-28-5 the rest of the way under Horacek to finish 15th in the East. Assistant GM Carl Dubas and Director of Player Personnel Mark Hunter will share the interim manager duties until the new general manager is hired. Phil Kessel was surprised with how quickly Brendan Shanahan acted. Uh, I don't know what you guys want me to say. Just what you think. I mean, um, Horchuk gone, Nona's gone. I don't know, guys. Um, obviously, there's going to be changes. Uh, you know, I didn't expect the day, but it's, it's business. How did you find out? Uh, my buddy texted me. My buddy texted you? Yeah. Today? Right. Yeah, so I got to go. I have to start guys. Got to be some nerves uh, in that team right now. So here's a look at Dave Nonis' major signings. He took over as Leafs GM when Brian Burke was fired in January of 2013. Was originally hired in 2008 as the Leafs Senior Vice President of Hockey Operations. With more, here's Kelsey Britt. Let the rebuild begin. Joined by hockey insider Darren Drager. And Darren, we've known for some time now that big changes were coming to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, but are you at all surprised by just the magnitude of firings made by Brendan Shanahan? A bit surprised the mass firing. I mean, this is an epic bloodletting by NHL standards. But the message from Brendan Shanahan was very, very clear in the one-on-one -on -one meetings he had with those who ultimately he let go in saying that, look, the root of the problems here with the Toronto Maple Leafs run deep, so we have to clean house. I don't think anybody can be surprised that Peter Horacek and the coaching staff with the exception of Steve Steos will let go Steos reassigned. I don't think that anyone can be surprised that general manager Dave Nonis was let go but when you get into further support staff and you get into the numbers of the scouts that were let go that gets a bit surprising. Okay now that the deck has been cleared by Shanahan what is his plan next? Well he's got to hire a manager moving forward and uh, the question is does he stay within or does he look outside and you know it's believed that Shanahan wants some experience. He wants a strong general manager. But there's a connection to Sean Burke that won't go away. Sean Burke still works with the Arizona Coyotes, so he will officially need permission from the Coyotes to be interviewed by Shanahan and the Toronto Maple Leafs, but I do see a fit there. Mike Feud is a top candidate on a lot of NHL teams list, provided that he wants to leave L.A. and L.A. is willing to let him go. And you've got a couple of other familiar names, obviously in Paul Fenton, who's with Nashville, and and Ray Shiro. The question that I would have though with Ray Shiro, who is a very experienced and a very winning NHL general manager in his time obviously with the Pittsburgh Penguins, does a guy with that level of experience want to come into a situation like the one that exists now in Toronto where Brendan Shanahan is at the helm so the position of general manager might be marginalized a little bit so time will tell. Then that general manager mm -hmm. will have to hire a head coach and this is as confusing as complicated as hiring the general manager and you look at some of the names that are on the list we shouldn't be surprised by that we're talking about Mike Babcock if he opts to leave the Detroit Red Wings certainly no guarantee of that as the Red Wings head into the postseason Todd McClellan will he be cut loose by the San Jose Sharks if he is will Toronto have that level of interest there will be teams like Philadelphia maybe Edmonton that will express interest in McClellan as well if Mike Babcock stays in Detroit, then Jeff Blash, who's in the Red Wings organization, becomes a, a key candidate for teams, including Toronto. And then you've got an unrestricted free agent coach, a veteran coach, and Pete DeBoer, who might be considered as well. Now, you've mentioned a lot of names for GM and for head coach. Uh, what is the, the timeline for Shanahan to at least start hiring? Well, no rush. He's going to go through this in a very methodical way because he knows that he's got good management types, you know, in-house in Kyle Duvis, who ultimately could also be a candidate for the GM job. He's got Mark Mark Hunter there, so they'll kind of lead the organization moving forward. Shanahan himself might do some scouting as well. Keep in mind, though, that this is now 
his team. You know, all of the of the shrapnel has been removed, and he's on the clock now. He's used two bullets in firing Randy Carlisle, and now in firing Dave Nonis, his general manager. He recognizes that if the Toronto Maple Leafs are to be successful moving forward, it's going to be because of the moves that he makes from this point forward. One thing that is for certain, Brendan Shanahan has given himself a lot of off-season to work with. We'll just have to wait and see what his next move is. He is hockey insider Darren Drager. It's going to be an interesting summer in Leafland. Tune into Leafs Lunch tomorrow, noon Eastern, TSN 4. All the latest news regarding the big changes for the Toronto Maple Leafs. TSN 4 will then carry the media conference live, 2 p.m. Eastern. We will hear from Maple Leafs President Brendan Shanahan.